everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a little demo of how I am using this Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Balm, sh Post Shave Balm, as a primer. Um, I first saw this on Every Little Thing 68, her channel. Um, she mentioned it on there and then I think I saw it on Mo Thompson's channel as well she mentioned it so I bought some and I thought I'd give it a go and I've been looking it up on YouTube and it seems to be all over YouTube and it seems to be from what they're saying a very very good um, face primer for putting under your foundation so I thought I'd buy some and it's really cheap um, this was, um, I think it was five ninety nine. This bottle, um, because I didn't get the offer in Superdrug. There was some great offer in Superdrug, and I missed that. Um, so yeah, and I've looked up how much you're supposed to. Oh, I'll give it a shake first. Always the best thing, isn't it? It is a liquid, and is obviously an open top. And I've seen that you're supposed to be just pour it out first. Is quite a thick liquid so it does drop out in drops I mean, it would come out faster if you poured it whoa too much <laughs> it was coming out really gently and then I got too much so using about that much is probably a little bit too much there so I would actually take a little bit off of there try and get that battle in the bottle so it's about that much that you're using oh rats and I haven't put my hair out the way this is going to be a difficult one what I'll do is put it onto my cheeks so I have clean hands to use so we will get rid of my fringe and I will zoom you in a little bit <coughs> so you just rub it in like you would any other um, face primer that you're going to use so be careful because I put my brows on before I've done my foundation I don't usually do this I usually put my foundation on first but I wanted to just make this a uh, face video rather than an eye makeup video I will show you what I have on my eyes um, after I've done this right you rub it in until you feel that it's in it does feel tacky that's probably might be because I've put too much on. But thinking about it, I have used it. I've been using it for the past hmm, nearly a week now, I think. And it does feel slightly tacky to start with. And, um, I'll just get a tissue and rub my hands off. And I'll put the lid back on that. But yeah, it's. Um, I mean, it is actually, you know, meant for, it is for men's shaving. Um, it says, for men who want immediate soothing skin relief and protection against irritation. For healthy looking skin, skin, it starts with you, it says. Um, it has chamomile and witch hazel. And 0% alcohol. <coughs> Uh, there's glycerin in it, lots of things I don't understand what they are. Um, it has a pleasant scent, but it's not overpowering. Alright, so that is, yeah, down to a tacky finish. Alright, I'm going to use, oh, excuse me, the Instant Age. Um, foundation from Maybelline 
hope the lighting's okay because I have only on my um, small lights today. So I'm just going to twist that up so I've got some foundation coming up. So apply that on there. I'm going to use a brush today and I'm using the Real Techniques buffing brush. If you can see that. There you go. I mean, you could um, buff the shaving balm into your skin um, with a brush, but I don't, you know, if you really wanted to, but I think fingers work just as well with that. I only put a light layer of foundation on today. Blended, blended that in, um, and uh, I'm finding that so far I'm really, really liking the finish. Um, I found I've used it with two or three different um, foundations, and they've all worked pretty well. I've used the Wake Up Rimmel Wake Up um, foundation. I've used a couple of BB creams. I've used the Garnier BB cream. And I, feel, I, feel, I find that they're all working pretty well. The foundation stays on my skin really well. Um, same as any other primer, really. I've um, just put in um, Catrice Camouflage Cream under my eyes. Um, I usually... I mean, I'm quite late today putting my makeup on. It's only sort of about lunchtime. Um, but I usually put my makeup on about half past eight in the morning and don't take it off until like mm, about eight o'clock, half past eight at night. Um, so it gets a good run and I'm finding that my makeup is looking as fresh um, as it was when I first put it on and I feel that my blusher on my skin is lasting a lot longer um, brush for my it's just a, a little blending brush um, yeah my blusher and my um, bronzer when I wear it seems to be staying on my skin a lot better you know it usually fades it goes patchy a little bit I'm finding that it, it's not doing that so and I'm finding that's better than when I use a proper primer um, so so far um, I, I can actually say at this moment I don't think I will buy a proper primer again um, it I'm feeling that it is that this product, this Nivea product, is as good as if not better than some primers. Um, I yeah, I say I'm I'm liking it that much. Um, uh, I'm not going to. I've got my eye brightener out, but I don't think I'm going to use that today. No. Um, I'm really impressed with it. We just took my hair away. Um, I'm going to. To do a little bit of contouring with with my balm Bahama Mama bronzer just a little bit to be careful with this because it is quite a dark bronzer for my pale skin talk it in I need to find my cheekbones because I am carrying a little bit of chub at the moment um, I did put rather a bit of weight on over Christmas. Um, we were rather bad, all of us. <laughs> um, we got an awful amount, off, awful, awful, an awful huge amount, a big amount <laughs> of um, chocolates and biscuits and 
everyone seemed to send us you know a box of chocolates um and you know and of course of course you have to eat them don't you but i think we ate rather too many i'm just going to do a little bit round my forehead hairline this is a nice bronze i quite like it and then down my temple area Blends really well. Uh, oh, I'm using the Real Techniques contour brush. Just warm the outside of my skin a little bit. And then I'm going to go just a tiny bit along the jawline and just blend, blend that in and then go into my earlobes just a fraction. Right. And I'm going to contour my nose slightly, ever so slightly. I can never get my nose contoured properly, uh, no matter how I try, what brush I use. I've tried using small brushes, um, but I actually find that I get on better with this one. Um, and I'm just going to blend, blend that out, go across the end of my nose. I didn't powder my skin, did I? Just gonna get my big fluffy. Actually, I'm gonna get my small brush and powder the um, concealer underneath my eyes. I'm getting in front of myself here. Look, just powder that down, and then just give it a quick powder where I haven't put any bronzer. And then just give it a quick with my powder brush. Powder my, my nose like a oh the powder I used is the essence all about matte powder. The blush I'm going to use is Essence Touch Silky Touch Blush in Autumn Peach. Because I use greens on my eyes, I thought I'd go with a peachy colour. <coughs> I'm using Jessup's Tapered Face Brush with this. And then, this is such a pretty brush. It has a lovely sheen to it. I did get um, my um, Revolution Contour no highlighter palette out to use but I'm not sure if I need any with this blush thinking about it I'm going to take it up the side of the temples a little bit and the same with the other side because I didn't do that might use a little bit. I'm going to use the goldy coloured one. It's this one. There. Let me shade you from the light a little bit. There you go. It's really pretty looking for cloth to wipe my fingers on. cheek and go round in a C shape. Oh I took that one too high. I should be very careful I just took that too high and I've gone on to my wrinkle area. Um, what's 
to be very careful when you're doing that when you get to my age look at that and then I'm going to go down the center of my nose and up there a little bit just a tiny little bit and take a little bit on my finger and do my cupid's bow like so sorry I've disappeared out of sight I'll let my hair fringed up the hair needs a hair dye on it the correct colour I should have to go into boots because I, when I got my hair dye the last time I did it I was in um, I'm just sorry, just going for a lip liner I was in Superdrug and I used the L'Oreal Excellence colour and they didn't have didn't have my colour in that I use. Um, I'm just using a pucker up balm, um, and I ended up picking up um, one of their own Superdrug's own colours. And I use rich mahogany, dark mahogany, or something like that in my L'Oreal Excellence one, and I picked up. The colour that said it was the same name, and obviously, you know, no colour, no two colours are ever the same. Um, and this one picked up more um, reddish burgundy, burgundy type, a brighter colour. And of course, I have too much grey, and it gave me the shine. But it left a lovely colour through through the ends of my hair. Um, but it didn't tone the top in properly. Right, the, the lip liner I've got is a Max Factor one. I think it's, a, it's an old one. And it's called Chestnut. I'm not sure if you'll be able to still get this one. It's really quite old. Um, it needs a sharpen. It's a good job I know where to put my hand in these drawers and get things, isn't it? Not Try not to turn around too often. Oh, that's giving that a sharp. Sharpen rather. Right, I'm going to blot. I'm going to do a brown looking lipstick. Brown shade of lipstick with the glasses on. I'm going to slide that in with my finger a little bit. And there's uh, my lip. I don't want to fill it in entirely with this because it is a quite a dark liner. There it is. I'd lost the top. And then the lipstick I'm going to use is one from Wet n Wild. Excuse the top, it needs cleaning. I am um, every time I put when they have these lipsticks, they stick out. Every time I put it back in, I always catch the side. Um, and it is called Mo Mocha Licious. Is this shade of brown? It's quite a nice brown. Uh, it's a matte colour by the way um, so but I have put that um, very sort of um, shiny lip uh, pucker up underneath so it's not going to come up too a match because my lips aren't in that great a condition at the moment I will show you why. There you go. In a moment. There we go. That is what the makeup looks like. Sorry, I've got a hair. 
over the top. I've still got a hair. I feel I have. It's not horrible when you can feel something on your lip. But you can't get it. Um, yeah, over the top of this Nivea um, shave balm. So it doesn't change the look of your makeup at all. Um, no one would know that you, um, you know, haven't got a primer, as they say. Um, yeah, those are my eyes. I the eye makeup I've done today. I'll give you a quick look of what I've done there. This is this just this little cheap, less than two pound palette. In the crease I have this colour here, this is gorgeous palette. <laughs> and the money I paid is unbelievable. That's in the crease. There is no name or anything on it. So that's in the crease. I have this Pantone Universe palette on my eyelids. I have this on the main part of my eye. And then this on the inner part. And then on the outer part of my eyelid, I have this green from Kiko. Gorgeous green, and the number on this is 116 because there's no name on that. So, those are the colors I have on my eyes. The liner is an eyeshadow from this palette again, and it is this burgundy red, well, burgundy plummy tone. And I use that as a high, as a, a, a liner along the top. And then I have on, on my lashes I have on, oh god, what's it called? Essence Lash Base. Um, and then I have a brown mascara on, which is the Rimmel Lash Accelerator Endless Gra Growth Lash Complex and Fibre Mascara. This is my second favourite mascara. Um, if I'm not going to be wearing these two which is the wonderful Rimmel Wonderful with the Argon Oil with the Max Factor 2000, 2000 calorie over the top I will be wearing this one and this one is also Rimmel so I, cause I fancied a, a brown mascara for a change today so there you go that is the makeup I have on today. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you why my lips are so dry at the moment. I saw watched a, a, a video Gail did, um, I think it was sometime last week. Let me zoom you out. And she was using these lip, or well, she used a lipstick from this make. And the make is Me Now Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Um, they're not really, they're not a lip gloss at all, they are a lip cream um, and they are matte. They are the most gorgeous colours and I, I got these in in the back of my drawer and I'd forgotten I'd gotten them. I'd forgotten I'd got them. Um, now I, after wearing them for a few days, I remember now why they were in the back of my drawer. Um, they look lovely on but they are so, so drying. Um, this is my favourite. Well, I have two favourites actually. I mean, they, they look gorgeous. I mean, they, they look lovely when you first put them. Well, they do look lovely when you've got them on until your lips get dry. And then this one, yeah, this is my other favourite. And I have tried all sorts of balms, you know, barriers underneath um, and then there's the, this is a really nice nude too it's a really lovely shade of nude and I have the, the reddish shade here um, 
Um, and yes, so they they've made my lips so dry. And another thing that I found when you wear it, when you put them on, they 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 leave your lips being a little bit uncomfortable, and they don't dry down dry. They leave a sort of like a, a sticky, tacky feeling. Uh, and that's another reason that I put them to the back of my drawer and I hadn't worn them. Um, so I think they'll be either going to a friend and see if they can get on with them or they'll go into the bin. Um, because, you know, I've, got, I've now got to get my lips back to um, being nice again after, you know, being so, getting so dry. I mean, they, they stick to your hands like glue. Um, other thing I wanted to show you, a couple of things came in the post this morning. Um, I got another Dr. Organic sna Snail Gel gel Hand and Nail Cream. I got my Tinkle Razors, pack of three, three, yeah, pack of th three, three packs of three razors, sorry. Um, and then I got a Snail White, um, Snail Secretion Filtrate Moisture Facial Cream Mask. So it's one of these cloth masks that you put onto your face. So we'll try, I've never tried snail secretion products on my face yet, so this will be a first. I will let you know how I get on with it. Um, I have a new lipstick from Natural Collection, and this is in... It's a moisture shine and the colour is fig leaf. It's just that it is a nude, pretty nude, mo really moisturising nude. It's not actually nude there. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.